service with these logins startups everything works great we are live we are live welcome everyone i hope you're all having a wonderful evening i hope you are um going to close this thing just so, okay let's hope this time around things will work well enough um, and there will not be any kind of delay or anything like that um, it's great to see all of you here I'm WGM Sabina Foisher and today I will be taking challenges you may challenge me on leeches my username is Sabina Foisher Nightbot you know just um, search for <laughs> For the command challenge, and you will be directly, uh, you will be directly to the link to challenge me. And also, uh, I recommend that you challenge me a casual game, three plus O, or less amount of time. You're welcome to challenge me anything less than that. Please don't do more. I may take you, but I I want to try to play as many people as possible. So. Uh, I think it will be nice to have, like, look, like, for example, this one. I mean, it's the first game, so I'm, game, so I'm gonna, no, this is rated as well. So, no rated games, guys, just casual, please. Um, we're gonna play casual games, so I'm really, really sorry, but I'm not going to take anything more than three minutes today. That's the deal. Three plus or less. If I'm feeling really... In a good mood, I may take one if it happens, but definitely not rated. So, please don't charge me rated. Again, five minutes, guys. Three plus all. That <laughs> incredible. <laughs> all of my games today are more than that. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Three plus all casual. That's what we're looking for. So that more people get the chance to play me. It's not personal. It's just my rule today. So, I hope... Um, you know, the people that got, <laughs> yeah, I did abort. Hopefully I will not be banned for ad aborting everything. Uh, that would be funny if, uh, you know, I get, I get banned, uh, for aborting too many games. I don't think Lee Chess has that kind of role, right? That, right? Uh, no joke Chess. I hope Lee Chess is not going to ban me for anything like that. <laughs> Chess fool, you're here. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, got it, got it. So I'm safe. I'm totally safe. Uh, Lee just blocked me. W says, I thought you were my friend. What happened? Well, my follower. Um, it's great to see all of you here. Hopefully, you know, the mic works well. The the transmission goes, goes. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. No joke. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, we're cool, we're cool. So hopefully everyone will challenge me with five minutes or more. Um, I have nothing personal. Rechallenge me with 3.0 or, or less um, and casual. I wouldn't want to. I want to destroy. I wouldn't want to destroy this amazing rating right now on my first few games. If you don't mind. Uh, no, but seriously. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you're new here, Kevin. Well, welcome. I hope you're having a great time and hopefully I get you get the chance to play me. I'm taking everyone at random. This should be reminded to you by Nightbot, but just in case, I will remind you as well. The challenges are taken at random, so it is possible, you know, you're challenging me, you're challenging me right now. I get to play you in like two seconds or three hours. I don't know when, but... Um, the past few streams that I did on Lee Chess, I have made it my goal to stay a little bit extra, well, a few hours to be exact, and I try to make sure everyone got their chance to play me. So don't worry, not leaving you behind tonight probably will not be an exception either. Um, so yeah, anyways. Oh, that's great to hear, Twiddle Gems. That's great to hear. <laughs> that's that's what no don't listen to chess fall don't listen to chess fall 
Uh, your username has nothing to do with that. Um, taking every single person, no one, uh, no one is going to be, um, no game will be aborted unless you have not listened to my requests. Then it will be, because then technically it's like a teacher in school, you know, you're, they're asking you to do your homework and then you're not doing it. And that's, that's, a <laughs> I don't hate you, Jackie. I don't hate you. I don't hate anyone, guys. Come on, let's be serious. Um, or let's have fun. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Just, uh, no, I don't, I'm not a hater. Um, and um, we are trying to stay within the time range uh, that I suggested and that is the, actually the, the normal Lee Chess suggestion, I think, as well, so that more people get the chance to play. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Not even Geary, oh my god. No, guys. Why do you think? I mean, yeah, I'm streaming on my personal, um, on my personal um, Twitch account as well. And some of the people in the chat are... Uh, are trolling me so in case you see some weird uh, weird chat just know that it's it's them not me um anyways good game good game af two one 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 i don't know how many eyes hi there dear cam um <laughs> uh so anyways uh it's great to see all of you here well, actually, uh, the other day I gotta say I watched uh, I watched uh, a little bit of John uh, John Bartholomew's uh, stream um, here on Leeches, and I was trying to figure out how he's doing things, um, and I found it helpful that he was just pointing out a couple of the mistakes that uh, people were doing, and I thought that was really cool of him. So I'm gonna actually just talk about it for a second here. So you played actually pretty well until around this point. I feel like around this point we moved 17, everything was um, was going well, uh, I feel. And um, you have a good position, you have an isolated pawn, so you're trying to avoid trading minor pieces. And then something you have to be careful for with black is that h7 um, square. So uh, you probably, this trade wasn't so helpful. I mean, maybe I could also capture with the queen. I don't know why I took with the pawn. It was a mistake for me as well, probably. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow, Lee just believes this was a blunder. Okay, queen takes probably makes a little bit more sense indeed. But I, I figured, you know, I um, with, with this capture, I'm trying to restrict this knight in d7. And so... My, my pressure there continues. I am losing a little bit of my advantage, maybe, but um, but yeah, um, that was not such a good idea. And then, of course, when I play knight g3, now you blundered and your time was going low as well. But overall, I feel like you played a very good game. So keep it up. Just some small, you know, talk about what is going on. I feel like um, it's helpful. I really, I really enjoyed... Um, Checking out John's uh, John's stream. If you guys don't know who John is, you should definitely check in, uh, check him out too. I don't know if there's a command for him, but um, John Bartholomew. Um, be on the look for when he streams on Lee Chess or on his own personal Twitch channel. So I decided to go for some kind of caro. Mm, this f4 is not a usual move that my opponent played. And um, we'll proceed for with our development. What's my favorite tea flavor? Uh, probably mint. I like mint tea very much. Um, fruity teas work very well, but mint and chamomile are certainly some of my, my favorite tea flavors. Fangirling. <laughs> yeah, actually. But who doesn't like John? I mean... John is probably one of the most likable and most professional um, streamers, chess professionals out there. Really, I mean, I, I really felt feel that it's kind of it's kind of hard to to. I don't think anyone could ever say anything bad about him. Like there are many people you can say I don't like this person. They seem mean. They do this. They do that. But John is is. Is really cool. Is really cool. Looks like Kevin does know him. 
he's probably uh, maybe even played him a couple of times who knows um he is he is yep definitely a little bit fangirl but uh okay it's that's that's all there is uh he and i actually did a commentary together i might have mentioned it before that will not work as he's gonna take it. and then in the end i will be forked so let's try to avoid that as much as possible um he and i did commentary together for k um what was it k 12 k 8 or 12 or something um for uscf a few years back and i think we made a really good team I keep asking him to, well, I kind of stopped because I figured he's busy, but I've asked him on a number of occasions to stream together, uh, but he seems very busy, so I'm not, I'm not uh, pushing him to do anything else, but hopefully one day there'll be the opportunity for us to work together again, because I feel like we made a good team. <laughs> one of those people who you can't imagine yelling, yeah, definitely. One time. John accidentally accepted. Ooh, really? Wow, that's so nice of him. That's so nice of him. He could have resigned. But I guess he didn't want to give the person the pleasure of saying that they won against him. You see, chess players, no matter no matter what kind of, you know, how much they separate themselves from from their actual chess endeavors, they still remain faithful to the game and they don't want to give up out points like that simply like that i'm telling you like no chess player will ever do that so i guess yeah or or he just wanted to give that person the the pleasure of playing him for such a long time who knows who knows but it's you played him on leeches i actually challenged him too I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be that the kind of person who's gonna challenge him every time i think he went live earlier today actually on leeches and uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to, to figure out when he's live and keep challenging him. Maybe I get the chance to play him. But I know he doesn't stay for, like, he gets probably way more challenges than I do. And uh, he doesn't stay for the whole time, I think. Or, well, he stays for the whole time, but he doesn't stay extra. So I don't think he, he gets the chance to play every single person. I don't know how, how it works. Um, I, I, I was waiting for like an hour, hour and a half. And then I was like, I've got stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. I can't do this. So maybe next time, maybe next time, you know, you, you may think us, the title players don't have someone we want to play against or something, but trust me, we do as well. We do as well. He was being very sneaky, my opponent, trying to mate me there, but I was, I was ready for that. I definitely was ready for that. Um, we'll go for this move. Closing the bishop as much as possible. Uh, I'm feeling comfortable that I will not get mated here. We'll see. Um, hmm. Rook f6 will be a little bit annoying. Will be. He may try to sacrifice. Let's hope that's not going to be possible. Oh, Kevin, no, <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> don't be like that. It's it's an experience. You need to you need to enjoy the experience. Forget about the the loss, you know. It's the experience that matters. That's that's what matters these these days in in our world. Experiences, cuz that's all you stay with in the end, I guess. I feel like maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so my point was to actually give up that pawn. Um, so that I make sure the bishop will remain locked. And now my idea was to try to do something. Um, start pushing that pawn. But we'll see how much we can. We can do that. Uh, we're going to try to double. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Chess Fool is, is, um, has been hired unofficially uh, or officially. I don't know. Uh, on my on my stream to oh I should play a little bit faster here to be the DJ so ooh, oh my God no <laughs> no what I got tricked I got tricked OMG no I got tricked <laughs> why did I do that why would I do that Sabina OMG I got super mega hyper tricked. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I cannot begin to imagine what I just did. Oh my god, I got lucky that I won. Oh, 
Ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I had to go on that. <laughs> I got tricked. I thought he was staying with the rook there. I was gonna trade and then he went back. Wow. Hi there. Uh, Habibi, welcome. Yeah, so about this game, if we just go back, uh, I feel like it... Well, at first, this seemed a little bit unusual. It's not something you get to see very often being played. Uh, F4 against the, the Karo, you know? But uh, the position that we got was pretty decent. Uh, was pretty decent. And the fact that the pawn was there, it supported White's Knight to go on E5. But I never felt, like, under pressure or anything. I feel like my opponent chose the right uh, continuation to place the Knight there, putting some pressure. In the system of the dragon variation, is it good? I mean, I think accelerated dragon is a pretty good line to play these days. Yeah, I feel like they've done a little bit more analysis and uh, should be playable. Should be fine. Should be fine. So I went queen b6 not to lose material, obviously, and try to put pressure here. So he found he himself in a situation where he kind of had to, uh, at some point, capture. Um... I really wanted to take there. Maybe this was the moment. Maybe I could have taken. And then if he would have taken, then I can go knight g4, put in some pressure, capture. I don't know. Mm, I, I just, I didn't feel like I wanted to, to leave this pawn unprotected. So the way we played was pretty, pretty normal. And a little bit later in the game, I started feeling comfortable when I got the chance to actually win this pawn. So this is a typical maneuver, what my opponent did, but he left this knight unprotected. So usually, I don't know, maybe he could have gone back or play some c3 first, go back, then play knight c5. Um, because obviously I want to play c5 at some point, but the way he's, he's placed his piece is going to be very difficult. So, um, Would liches.org want the chess commands bought up and running here? I don't know, Dean Pool. Uh, you would have to write to, um, to no joke... Um, I don't know if he's live right now or not, but he's the one you probably have to write. No joke. Um, um, what's his entire username? No joke chess. He's the one you should ask. Um, yeah, yeah. Tom, thank you, W says. He's the one that you have to uh, to ask about these things. And anyways, uh, yeah, you guys saw what... I, I was comfortable here. My, I was proud of this idea. I'm actually curious. I don't know what Leech has, uh, what uh, Stockfish thinks about this idea. Um, but positionally, it seemed pretty fancy. And I probably should have gone instead of that silly check I gave. Rook e6 to protect here and then maybe start pushing my f-pawn to support the e-pawn. That bishop is locked. And yeah, of course, I got super unlucky here. <laughs> I thought I was going to trade the rook and I don't know what I did. So, um, anyways, <laughs> no, I'm not better than Stockfish. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. And I will not pretend that I am. That's not something I would. Alex de Grutzul. So I'm playing a Romanian. Let's try some Sicilian. All the Romanians do know lots of Sicilian, so we'll see. We'll see what my opponent knows. He's Romanian. Fellow. Fellow Romanian. Oh, for those of you who may not know, I am originally from Romania. And um, currently residing in the United States. Been here for for 13 years now. But, um, you know, representing U.S. for the past... Uh, for a really long time. Since 2009, actually. And um, currently living in the U.S., but still very much tied to my home country of Romania. Actually, I will not take. I'm just going to castle. So if he takes, I'll take back with the bishop and I'll feel comfortable about my position. Hi there, Sarhane. Welcome. E6 Sicilian is French in disguise. No. Oh, it doesn't have the variation. Ooh. So I must have played something fancy. Must have done something fancy there. Um, so he's if he takes, I'm going to take in c3. And mess up his pawns. Now, we'll see how much I did mess them up. I'm not in a rush to capture them because there is our triple pawns. And that's not so terrible to deal with, in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see. And now I wanted to go queen a5. So as long as I'm not getting mated, I should be fine.
Yeah, no, 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 no. W says no. My my accent is run, not Romanian. Trust me. Trust me when I say that. I'm Romanian, so I can tell you. I can tell you how the accent sounds. <laughs> yes, I'm Castilian for sure. From Barcelona. I'm from Barcelona. Play the Budapest and go for the smothered mate with knight? Wait, where's the smothered mate in the in the Budapest? I don't know where the smothered mate is in the Budapest. Oh, you want me to go for like that one? That kind of thing or what? Hi there, remain confident. My cat is going to be joining the stream maybe at some point. Not not at the moment. For the moment she's she's napping. It's still her nap time at the moment, so I cannot, I cannot get her to, to join. Yeah, but you know how, in order for that may to happen, guys, the opponent should also not know, you know? The opponent should also not be, be familiar with that, so I feel like if the opponent knows, like... What are the chances? What are the chances? Zero chances, trust me, zero. Ooh, actually, that was good. That was good. Mm, okay. Let's, uh, ooh, I'm not sure if that's, okay, let's, let's just try, though. Let's try. I'm gonna take with the rook. I don't wanna create weaknesses. I don't know why I played rook. If I should've traded first, because the pawn was in a5. I let it advance a little bit too much. Hi there, some guy. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining. If you haven't done so yet, I would appreciate you guys following the Leeches page. Um, and if you don't have an account on Leeches, you're missing out on a lot of things. It's free. Everyone can join. It will always be free. Your account lasts literally like, to, in order to create it, it takes you like literally like 30 seconds, I think. I don't think it takes you more than 30 seconds to create the account. And once you have an account created, you may even spend the time challenging me. Uh, you may have to wait a little bit of time, okay, until I accept your challenge, because uh, there are quite some challenges pending at the moment. But you may get the chance to play me, and don't they already seem fun to play against? I feel like today I'm in a mood that I'm actually talking good things about myself. You wouldn't see me in this mood. Uh, you don't see me in this mood very often. I don't know what happened today. Not much. I feel like the day <laughs> was terrible, I think. <laughs> I was just so excited <laughs> that I, it wasn't terrible. But um, but uh, I was teaching all day. And then I feel like this this was my this is my relaxing time. This is my relaxing time where, where you know, I just feel happy. <laughs> so it's good. Um, you get to create a, an account on leeches.org super fast. And um, they have so many things that you can learn. You can also watch the, the broadcasting of a lot of top-notch events in the world. They also have tons of tournaments. Um, you can solve puzzles. And they have some learning things as well. So I feel like it's something you don't want to miss. Anyways, going back to this game, I was actually pretty happy when my opponent decided to capture in f6. It seems like a natural move to make. But in fact, uh, because he wins this pawn, right? But in fact, I feel that it helped me a lot because these triple pawns here, I don't need to capture them immediately. So I didn't go to grab my pawn back immediately. I could have considered queen a5. Maybe he can defend with queen d4. So I went bishop g4 because this bishop anyways is a little bit bad with those pawns on white. So I'm getting rid of my bishop. And now I know that those pawns would be very difficult for white to defend. Uh, even if my opponent somehow would have gotten the queen in d4, I could always go rook b8, rook b2, and then maybe a2 would be falling. So something will fall eventually, and that's why I felt comfortable here. I I got my first pawn back, and then, um, you know, it, it just getting my rook active, eventually second one fell, and, and yeah. Um, and then, then that's what I wrote. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 10 minutes? No, I'm sorry, my friend, Frederick Carlson. I'm sorry about that. Uh, as I said, I'm only taking 
three minutes or less casual blitz casual so please re-challenge me i'm sorry about that you want to get to the middle game i'll be uh, happy uh, puzzles teach me a lot of tactics yes 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 okay Do you think the Karakan is a defense where you can also play for... Of course, of course. Look, I'm going to play the Karakan just to prove you that. Just to prove that to you. Uh, I play Karakan for a win. What do you think? Do you think I play Karakan to make a draw in all these games? No, man. No. Uh, it depends what kind of Karakan you're playing. I, I play some mix uh, between Karakan and... Um, actually, I remember this line. I feel like it was Queen B6. I used to play this as a kid maybe 20 years ago in some Romanian championship, I almost, I was supposed to win the game, I eventually made a draw. I remember I had a queen for two rooks and I had a, one or two extra pawns, but unfortunately I wasn't able to convert that. Uh, I remember to this day because I remember who my opponent was and she was uh, a player I would <laughs> usually have trouble beating. Um, anyways. So let's go for the castle for now. Um, can we play? Costas Pap. So I am taking challenges at the moment. You may challenge me. And if the, um, the random selection button is going to select you for us to play the game, um, gladly we will be playing. If it doesn't select you immediately, you may have to wait. So if you don't mind, mind waiting, you are welcome to send in the challenge. But I'm not taking people because I like them or I don't like them. <laughs> I'm taking them based on this random selection. Um, however, I go, app. there's an app that, gives, that randomly selects the people I play against. Karakan with G6. It screams a draw. <laughs> you know how many games I won with this chess fold? You've seen me stream a lot. I can't believe... Actually, no. If he takes here, I'm gonna... No, I don't think I can do that. We'll see. Uh, it does not scream a draw. I've won thousands of games. Well, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of games with this system. You know. You've seen me play chess fold. Or are you just talking? You're actually not looking at my games. You're just talking. Talking to me. And I guess the the music selection does give you a lot of a lot of uh, work so you don't really have time to <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, take back no you anyways didn't have any other mo well you could have put the rook I'm not I cannot give I cannot give guys come on I cannot give take take backs everyone will want to take back and then we'll never finish we will never finish our games because I'm playing the French but I'm losing a lot of games I'm trying to improve. Yeah, I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with the French. French is a good opening. Sicilian is a good opening. Um, you may want to consider some e4, e5 too. I don't know what kind of player you are, but um, playing that kind of... Um, like, making sure you know the classical openings is pretty important, in my opinion. So, um, you can certainly have more solid um more solid games if you learn some e45 more solid than the french do i like vienna opening for white well uh sorry to disappoint but i am mostly an e4 uh, a d4 player so i'm not really getting to play the vienna with white pieces unfortunately not much not much um so I'm sorry to disappoint with that. I feel like many of you want to see me play some some e4s. Um but um maybe I'll play some e4. It depends on the level of my players. Maybe I can play some e4s. But um yeah, mostly with black I get to play against the Vienna, mostly with the black pieces. Looks like we're going to have a mate over there next move. No, the French is no chess full. Come on, it's really not so bad. The French is really not so bad. You just have to be comfortable to play with a position where you don't have that much space. That's something you have to do. 
Oh, I wish Lao Zeus. I really wish I was playing higher like Carlson. No, I never play Carlson. Never got the chance. Uh, the closest I got to him was maybe one meter away, but I never talked to him. I was too shy to ask him even for a picture or an autograph. So, yeah, the closest I got to him was like maybe one meter as I was watching one of his games. He smiled at me though, so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> um, um, but that's that's about it. He smiled. He didn't smile at me. Okay, let's be let's be clear now. You guys will think what? Lucky you. Uh, no, so uh, it was uh, it was I was in Dubai for the World Rapid and Blitz Championship, and uh, he was playing. Uh, like there was um, like people could stay and watch the games at the time. There was no COVID, and uh, he was playing against Fresine. I remember, <laughs> and Fresine goes e4, first move. Uh, Magnus goes knight f6, Fresine goes e5, and Magnus goes back knight g8, okay? So he basically gave Fresine three extra moves, three extra pawn moves to go forward, and then I was, like, right there watching, like, right next to the game, and he looks at whoever was, you know, on the side of the... Uh, there was, a like, a separator thing, and uh, he looks at everyone who is there. I happened to be me and two or three other people. He was looking at us, and he started smiling, and we were... I, I almost started bursting into laugh, but luckily I held myself and nothing happened. <laughs> I was too busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was blushing for sure. Yeah, definitely. So anyways, um, this game, I feel like my opponent kind of let me get a lot of things. B3 is not uh, the usual move in this position. So actually, in this position, black, uh, after queen b6, I think white plays queen d2 and uh, you let black capture there. And after knight f6 or something, at some point you take there. If I remember correctly, that is how this line is being played. Um, after that, I felt pretty comfortable in my position. I got to play c5, attack, and yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't too crazy. All right. Ooh, AF211. So AF211, I did play you. I did play you before. I mean, I don't mind playing you again, but there are a lot of people waiting. So if you don't mind, I'm going to um, I'm gonna play someone else because I want to make sure. Oh, my God. Casual co correspondence. People, people, please. Please. Casual 3.0. All right. Blitz. All right. Yeah, yeah, he was smiling. I mean, you don't see Magnus smile very often, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is a legitimate variation for sure. It is a legitimate variation, yeah, but anyways. Uh, 3 and 0, I recommend 3 and 0, uh, so that more people get the chance to to, to play me. If you guys want to uh, challenge me, this link should work for you guys. So we're going to go for some... Ooh, g6. Wow, I've never seen that move being played there. That's interesting. It's a very interesting choice. I've never seen it. So I guess he's kind of trying to transpose into a Grunfeld or something. Interesting. Ooh, this is nice. I don't think I've ever seen this line being played. So, I don't know. Kind of cool. Kind of cool and not cool for me. <laughs> um, okay, let's do that and see what's... What's cooking? What is cooking here? Okay, he did not take. So I'm thinking now I get the chance to keep his bishop closed for a little bit of time. And I like this kind of idea to stop him from castling. Even if it's an end game, it doesn't mean I don't care about him castling. So we'll, we'll chase the knight away. We're giving ourselves a little bit more space. And I feel like I want to get my knight over there. I'm also stopping any f6, which f6 sometimes can help him to trade. King f7, get the rook out. Okay, that was a little bit annoying indeed because... But I'm going to check. I'm going to... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to check him first. Oh, no, it's not one week long stream. No, <laughs> I'm a nice person. Thank you, Hab uh, Habib. Thank you. I appreciate it. I played with Esther. No, I did not. Oh, I did today? 
No, this was not today. Was it today? No, it was not today. It was another time. It was another time, guys. It was not today. Oh my god, I don't have time. What? You guys, you guys are distracting me. You're being uh, an unhelpful distraction. I'm <laughs> just joking, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I appreciate you being here. You're not distracting. <laughs> Everything is fine. Forget what I said. Forget. I, I say silly things at, at times. Don't listen to everything I say. It's not all totally serious. Just halfway. Uh, well, I'm happy with that. I am. Uh, that game did not happen today. At least I don't remember it. So, I mean, I know my memory is not so great, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I'm usually checking whom I played and when, so that, yeah. Oh, Andrew, nice to see you as well. How are you doing? Oh, that check was not my cup of tea. I'm just keep choosing the wrong. No, I want another pawn. It's fine. Let's get this rook out. Mm. It's, I mean, it's ugly, but I want my knight there forever. Okay. Sorry, guys. I will kind of not look at the chat for a second. I feel like I got way too long time, and this is not my usual self to get that long time. I mean, it is, but eh. we'll pretend like it's not. Hmm. I want to try some thingies, thingies over here. Uh, well, technically it's the highest title for women, yes, but but women can also get the suppos supposedly men titles, the official uh, titles like Grandmaster. Um, good game, good game, Esther, good game, Esther. No, so that, okay, what other questions did I miss? What other questions did I miss? Um... Uh, what else? I said hi to Andrew. There was another player with Esther and they name. Maybe I did play this one, but not this week. Um, and some people, if they challenged me last week, I mean, that's, that's fine. We, we still play them this week. This week is a no. Uh, there are women who are grandmasters as well. Yeah. So it's technically like the highest a woman can get in the women one, but you can get the, I don't know what's the best explanation for that. Um, do you yes obviously big magnus fan big magnus fan uh fan not fan. <laughs> fan big fan uh yeah this unfortunately my opponent did run into a mate here but i had a good position i am very surprised by his choice of opening like g6 let's see what the engine thought about it yet yeah, thought it was a dubious choice because the point is black does allow me to have a lot of the center and there's no there was no attack in the center because I kind of took over it instantaneously and uh, I, I, this is just usually a big advantage so you have to be very careful about it this tips to get good at chess 500 rating lots of tactics lots of tactics learn all your mating patterns le learn how to mate first um, as many mates as possible first and then learn as many tactical ideas as possible. So pins, forks, skewers, smothered mates, Anastasia mate, Arabian mate, all of those mates, you need to know them. Yeah, unisex. Okay, that was the word I was looking for. Thanks. Yeah. All right, moving on to our next game. And let's hope people have challenged us. Three minute good. Ooh, this, this player is pretty strong. So you got to be careful with him or her. Suggested openings. Ooh, that's that's always a tough one. That's always a tough one. It's very hard for me to to say exactly. Let's just play something solid here. Something solid, like learn some e4, e5, d4, d5. I, I feel like those are pretty good openings to consider. Many people say to play other things, but if you kind of get a hold, a hold, 
get to become familiar with those, I feel like it can help you a lot. Those are very good openings. Those are super good openings. Okay, so usually we want to try to get as much space on this side of the board. I think I should move my, my rook. Maybe I should play the h6. Let's play h6. <clears throat> and this rook we put it let's put it here I'm gonna go bishop f8 and protect my mating my mating <laughs> uh, my king against mates better said easier said than done I know yeah leeches leeches has so many things you can learn from I mean it's really your you are wasting time if you haven't done that yet <laughs> i feel like i feel like you know um there are already a lot of uh, tools that leeches provides that if you're trying to be a better player um you don't necessarily want to miss what is going on in this position is, is it gonna be a mate if i take like they're gonna be a mate Hmm, because then there's IG5. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, huh. Okay, let's not take, let's just try to be safe. Trying to be. Hey, how are you? So it looks like we have a raid here. It looks like Regina. Ooh. <laughs> this is my cat, guys. She came to say hi. Babes, you want to come say hi? Hi, my love. Oh, I'm going to get mated. Oh, I'm going to get mated. This is Regina. Ooh, you came the wrong time, my love. You came the wrong time. You cannot really help me. You cannot really help me that much, you know? No. I mean, Elshan. I'm playing. Don't worry. It's 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 not rated. Yeah. It is not rated. Thankfully, it's not rated. Um, I got nervous. I saw Regina. I got super nervous. I blundered two pawns. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Regina. She's she's the cat. She's uh she's Magnus's second. Just joking. <laughs> uh, we we had fun on on my stream the other day, um, saying that Regina has been Magnus's helper because everyone was asking me what is her rating what is her rating and i was like yeah, yeah she helped magnus she's like magnus team all the way because i'm magnus team i mean i'm rooting for magnus but um what is it babes mm -hmm. what is it no oh unhappy are you well, let's try to see if we can try to save this game because I blundered a bunch of pawns. My opponent could have taken the draw, but he's trying to beat me because my king is pretty weak. But I have I have two queens. I have my queen on the board and I have you, huh? So maybe I get to somehow save myself? What do you think? No? No. Oh, sometimes she has these meows like she's crying, you know? It makes me feel so sad. I don't even know. Does she hate me? Is she happy? Oh, what is it, love? Oh. oh. What is it, sweetheart? Done? You're done? You don't want any more? Okay, 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 yes, yes, my love, yes. All right, my love. All right, there she went. She's not a huge fan of my streams, I guess I'm not, especially when I'm doing badly, she's like, you're playing too terrible for me. I cannot stand your terrible play. Oh, I was looking forward to that move, my friend. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. No, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just a trade. That was just a trade. That was just a simple trade. And we're going to go for another one over here. Um. Okay. Let's get this knight into the game. Back into the game. Um, okay. 
Okay. I feel like that was terrible. Somehow we saved it. Somehow we saved it to a draw. That's good. Whew, I, I messed up definitely big time when Regina was joining. <laughs> I missed kind of a lot. Uh, thank you, uh, Alex Tigruzul. Thank you for joining. Merci. I hope you're having a good night. Or I don't know where you are, but if you are. She does not play chess, guys. She does not play chess, obviously. Uh, Elshan is... You're a big fan of Elshan. That's nice. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. I'll let him know he's not here right now. He just uh, brought Regina. Um, can you make pre-moves? Yes, you can make one pre-move. I think maybe that's something that um, is a little bit different than maybe other sites. I don't know. You can only make one pre-move um, as far as I know, but maybe there's a way and I haven't figured it out yet. I think only one pre-move is, uh, is possible. Um, greetings, Elvar. Nice to see you here as well. All those pawns. I survived it chestful. You can be proud. You can be proud. You are you are still you're still uh, you know good to be DJ for, for the for the time being. Once I mess up too badly, you'll be like, sorry. I'm gonna ditch you, I'm gonna find someone better who doesn't allow so many pawns. You're rated six hundred seventy. Okay, you're rating six hundred seventy, that's good. Okay, so you gotta you gotta work a lot on mates. Um has one pre-move leeches yes okay where i am from originally from romania but i've been living in the united states for about 13 years now 13 i go back quite often though planning to go back home to romania which is also my home uh, in a few weeks okay i feel like that was all uh Okay, that, that's all I missed, kind of. Uh, wow, what a game I played. I mean, we definitely need to do this to bring it to the analysis board because I kind of like... I was lost, like here. I was lost. I should have brought my knight a little bit earlier. Should have brought it earlier here. And this is usually the typical way on how you stop an A-pawn. I mean, I could have tried to stop it here too because the knight is going to be sacrificed. So just keep these ideas in mind. If you are ever going to try to stop an, a margin pawn, you need to... to Kind of imagine how your knight is going to do that kind of a tr uh, square. But I messed it up earlier. I don't know if I was ever, if, I mean, I kind of, like, what? I Both of us have bl have been blundering after blunder. That d4 of mo move of mine was terrible. I should definitely not have played that d4. That d4 was way too much. I allowed the sacrifice. I felt that it wouldn't work here because... Um, I thought that I can take an e5, but then I realized that my capture wasn't good enough. So maybe I should play knight e7, knight f5. Um, and after knight e7, if he goes, I guess, knight g5, maybe maybe I can try to defend like this somehow and stay safe um, within this, you know. But but I play queen d8, which is terrible. And then rook e4, of course. And my opponent played really well. I mean, this is a game that I... I saved, I, I'm proud that I saved it, to tell the truth, but um, clearly I should be disappointed in my horrendous play where I allowed all this sacrifice. It was a great sacrifice. He has four pawns for the piece and potential attack. My king is super weak. And then, of course, towards the end, um, I kind of traded into that end game, of course, hoping um, to to have some chances, but um, clearly I, I I was supposed to be lost. I, I just got somehow lucky because of the way he pushed the pawns. He gave me the chance here after G... I think this is still fine, and then probably king takes D3 is, is the wrong choice. I feel like if he plays G7, I have to take it, and then he plays H6. Um, that pawn cannot be stopped. He's going to win my knight, and after that he's just winning, so... 
Um, hi there, Mateusz Panteado. How are you doing? Yeah, he did not use them correctly. Luckily for me. I mean, we were both super low on time, so it's not like if it was a normal game, you know, he would probably, he should be upset for doing that, but yeah. He's watching the stream. What stream is he watching? Uh, Mateusz, what stream is Magnus watching? When night takes E5. Yeah, yeah, so usually after you finish the game, don't ever make the mistake, guys. Don't ever make the mistake of trying to analyze your game as it, it is being played. You're going to be flagged by leeches and your, your account is going to be closed or... I don't know, flagged, and you don't want that. So finish your game, even if you're super upset, if you feel like you blundered, doesn't matter, try to finish your game, resign or win it if you can, <laughs> but make sure that there's a result there. Once the game is over, you may click analysis board and you may use the help of the engine. Only very, be very mindful of what I'm telling you, only after the game is over. Please do not attempt to use the engine while you're still playing. That is completely, that is a terrible thing to do. It's considered cheating and, ooh, this is rated. This is rated. I'm sorry, my friend. I said unrated. It's not about the, okay, I'm going to play against the bot. <laughs> I feel like I played against this bot before. Yeah, I did. I remember I played this bot before. Uh, okay. I played him last week, last week. Um, so let's see what we are going to play against the bot. Okay, let's see what bots do against this. Let's see. Eggnog chess engine. And as Chessful was saying earlier, your name, the name of your bot is pretty fun. So I guess I like it. That's why I'm playing your bot. You lost all your games. Um, so I'm going to play something very weird. I'm going to try to attempt to play d5. What? He played d5. Oh, okay. So he's trying to get me into some kind of... Something. I don't know. You know, the only thing I don't like about bots... I think I said it before. One of the things I dislike about bots is that they play super slow in the beginning, super mega hyper slow, and you think, great, I have so much time, and then the last moves, they play so fast that, I mean, hmm, I messed up a little bit, a little bit, hmm, not proud of my position. I don't know why I'm not talking. Clearly disgusted with my position. The thing is with bots, they don't really blunder. Oh. It's gonna play here. I'm going to defend with my teeth. Mm. 
Don't judge me. <laughs> Do not judge me. Don't be too judgmental. <laughs> Knights are the best blockading pieces of a uh, past pawn, just so you know. In case you didn't know that. You just learned that. New thing. Fun fact. Fun fact. Come on, I cannot believe this bot actually knows to put you in Zugzwang. I mean, that is way too much. I don't know, this bot is good. This bot is good. Okay, well, we're gonna resign because it's a bot. I don't have no chance. Uh, I had a tough position after I, I played this silly. Uh, I was gonna play d5 earlier. I should have played it right. He oh, I can't play it yet. I can't play it yet. I didn't expect it to go for this. Interesting. It's a good bot. I know, I know, but I had to. Playing against bots is unfair. I don't know, I know, but I played this bot before and I don't know, I feel like it's not blundering, so it's kind of hard to play against it. Okay. We'll try some... Oh, you guys told me to play Budapest. I didn't listen to you, I apologize. I'm not a big um, connoisseur of the Budapest with black pieces, but we'll try. And I feel like someone told me to try the cole one day. So if I have white, just remind me to play the cole. I'm going to go for this line. Make sure you don't do this when you have a castle because you're going to fall for that trap. You are losing a piece. You still think you did the best move? Well... Well, there's an engine that usually tells you it's a mistake and you need to try to understand why that is a mistake and kind of compare the line because obviously it's not, you're not always going to be told mm, everything super clearly, but, but, but in general you are. So I, I do recommend that you, um, I do recommend that you try to understand why the engine is telling you that whatever move you made was not good. And once you understand that, uh, you need to try to see what is a better move. And next time when you play, try to remember to make that better move instead. Actually, I'll take with the knight if he takes. Mm. Hi there. Neural Alpha. So, mm, actually... I, I think everyone was saying that this game had no mistakes. I felt like nobody made any mistake, any accuracy. It was like perfectly played, no mistake. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. Because you don't really see such a, such a game that has no mistakes. Uh, sure, Lazarfish. I hope it's helpful for you and I hope you get... I hope you get... um. You get to improve as much as you want. Get better. So normally black is going for plans on this side of the board. So let's just try. Let's just attempt this kind of thing. I mean, he will have e5, e4, which may be a little bit annoying. But not just yet because I have pressure there. So I'm not too worried if he plays e4 right now. 
Mm. It was a really good game. Like, I was watching it and I was like, wow. Mm. And then, yeah. I usually... I'm a terrible fan. I'm a terrible Magnus fan, I feel like. Because I don't wake up at the time, you know, at 7 a.m. or whenever exactly, what's the exact time of the start to actually check the game. So I feel like I'm a terrible fan. But I am root uh, rooting for, for him, however. Uh, hopefully not too many Russians hear me say that because, you know, I like to go to Russia from time to time and hopefully I will still be allowed to go there after the match is over. <laughs> If it makes sense. Um, obviously, shouldn't be a problem. Everyone is allowed. Although in Russia, I'm not sure if all <laughs> everyone has the same rights. <laughs> Forgive me if I said something that you don't believe. But anyways. Um, do you want to beat Magnus in chess? Oh, wow. That would be, that would be a dream come true. But I feel like that's... It's too hard for me to imagine that that would happen. I'm not very strong. I'm not that strong to even dream. I feel like if we have a hun if we play a hundred games, if I play a hundred games against Magnus, if I score half a point, I'll be happy. <laughs> but <laughs> that's that's how much I think I have chance against Magnus. <laughs> so <laughs> clearly, not. I don't believe in my chances against Magnus. So. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Mateus, no, 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 no. I am rooting for Magnus. I am rooting for Magnus. Wow. Okay, Twiddle Gems. I don't know. No, I'm I'm rooting for Magnus. Um I hope he wins. I hope he wins. Um But yeah, I'm not waking up that early, so usually like I'm waking up, you know about an hour, hour and a half into the game and um okay let's just take this pawn too because why not it's an extra pawn and uh, by that time they're you know kind of halfway halfway or more than halfway done so I would say it's good for me um because I get to do some other things. Today I didn't have much time. Luckily I watched some before. Because I was teaching a lot today. So Thoughts on the draw? Well I think it was. I think it was. Um, like I said. I think it was. Uh, um, good game. I mean. I know people want more decisive games. But you need to understand. That there's a lot of pressure. At stake. And they, they've had months. To prepare for this event. So I mean. I, I it, it's normal like Magnus said today I believe I watched a little bit of his interview and I believe he said something like um, that um, that um, you know if if they both play correctly the game should end in a draw so I mean you know um, do you think there should be changes no no I mean I know I know we want more blood uh, because you're used to seeing more blood in in other kind of sports, but um, no, I think it's um, it's 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 good to see good good chess being played, different openings, uh, new ideas. Uh, you know, they they spend a lot of time. They pay probably a lot of seconds to analyze their openings, and you probably don't even see half of whatever they spend time on to to analyze in it but you still see something and and that's good for chess in general to see such a match being played i mean it's super serious and everything i don't think it should be changed that's just my opinion i know i know well i actually was surprised that magnus didn't you know didn't want to change that i i would have asked for a free day on my birthday um because usually i have a very bad score on my birthday playing chess but yeah, that's that's kind of surprising. So tomorrow is a free day, and then they're gonna play yeah on on November thirtieth, which is Magnus's thirty second, thirty first birthday. Oh, it happens to be yours too. Happy early bir birthday, Mateusz. What would you say is the most important thing for a beginner to focus on? Definitely lots of mates and and tactical themes. 
do the rapid no no because that's a completely different kind of chess and they have a world rapid and bliss championship for that completely separate uh yes i did analysis uh hussein i did analysis yesterday i analyzed both games on my own uh, on my own twitch channel i recommend you checking it out if you like me and the way i talk uh, how I am, <laughs> my my personality. You are welcome to follow me on on my own Twitch stream as well, and uh, I will be talking about the games more uh, when when I go live. But right now, I'm only taking challenges here on Lee Chess, so stay here, don't go anywhere. So here, I basically got to follow my plan, which is you know considering that I have more space on this side of the board, I push my pawns forward. And I just happened to be able to enter on the A file. Uh, my opponent should have found a way to play E4 and focus more in the center and on the king side, but unfortunately uh, hasn't done so. And that is the reason why I ended up winning this game. Prize Aardvark. Okay. Imagine losing in the World Championship. I know that's kind of that's kind of sad. Hopefully that does not happen. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hold our our fingers crossed even more that day so that he definitely nothing bad happens to him. At least me, I root for him so for Magnus. Yeah, bullet match. I mean, I'm pretty sure Magnus would be fa favorite in a bullet match against Nepo, but I could be wrong. Oh, you are also born the same year. That's cool, Mateusz. You like the idea? You want to see blood, Jeff? You want to see blood, blood I guess. Uh, what is going on with my opponent? Are you here? Prize at Vark. Long games are better to improve? Uh, yeah, long, long games are pretty good to improve because you spend the time to make sure you visualize every single piece that's on the board. Mating three, no, mating one. You start with mating one, mating two, and then of course you keep adding mating three. Uh, usually you can find those. The best book for that is definitely Laszlo Polgar's 5360 something uh, Problems and Mates. That, that one, highly recommend for everyone. Buy that book and start solving. As a kid, I solved that book twice. So is this thick but you won't be sorry you will be getting a lot you'll be getting a lot better Lazar probably you should uh, or Lazar I don't know if you're Romanian um, you should um, probably um, start with me and play a little bit less but if you do play 10 15 minute game for sure with some increment I want Magnus to win, so I cannot say anything otherwise. You like Dorfman's method? I like uh, Dorfman. Josef Dor Dorfman is probably one of the uh, best. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm sorry, Prize at uh, Aardvark. I was here. I was waiting for you. You did not show up to make a move. We'll go on further. I did play my opponent before. I'm pretty sure I did that. Reroll, yes. Which one? Which one? Which method? Which which method are you talking about? Um, Steustake. Yes, Lazar or Lazar, definitely. Which um, so again? Which which method of Dorfman? Because uh, Josef Dorfman definitely. So he's originally Russian. Ooh, he is doing this to me. He is doing this to me. All right. All right, I see what's happening here. Okay, I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna play safe and make sure I don't get mated. I'm gonna play super safe and make sure I don't get mated because you guys scared me about some mates with knight d3 and uh, yeah, just to be sure, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play super safe and <laughs> and stick to my <laughs> to my super safe and strong defense. So nobody's gonna beat me here. Um, so, and he was the coach of a lot of very strong players. I think he was the coach of Bakro for a long time. Um, he's been living in France for many, many years. And, um, I think before Dvoretsky, I mean, I heard about him first. 
personally, but okay. You cannot listen to every single thing I say. I try to tell you the most. I'm always very serious when I when I talk about chess related things and if you ask about improvement and stuff. But um uh, maybe my knowledge, cultural knowledge of specific things is not the best, most perfect one. Leeches, mention me in their story. Yay. Uh, I should check it out. You've read a lot of books for chess. Now it's Stockfish. I mean, chess books are still... A very very important trust me you need to read chess books too and and think about it. like those people they don't write them for no reason I mean spend a lot of time into into them and they put out their heart I mean I know oh my god I almost missed a mate um I know I actually wrote a book together with Grandmaster Elshan Moradi Abadi we wrote a book it's called Sherlock's Method um well I'm not here to popularize my book but um um, I just mentioned it because I wanted to point out that we did spend a lot of time with that book and um, I actually don't know how the sales are going. We have not been informed, which is kind of sad, actually. Uh, we have not been informed by the publisher how the book sales have been going for the book. But I can tell you there's a lot of work and um, you're not only helping your own improvement, you're also supporting those writers. Uh, especially if you know it's a book that can help you with the development, your chess development at your level. So that's just my opinion. Don't need to agree <laughs> or listen to me. But I feel like this, the Twitch, Twitch in general is a platform where you share different things that maybe people couldn't hear before. And um, yeah, I hope to be able to encourage people to read more books uh, and not just like chess books you can also read normal books people forget about that too <laughs> I feel like um, more and more people are focusing so much on online things that they forget how important reading a book really is um, so Actually, at the beginning of this year, I had a goal for myself, a personal goal, to try to read a few a book a month. Uh, I did pretty well the first part of the year. I'm not quite sure what happened in the second part. Uh, so I'm still behind with my book reading. So hopefully 2022, I'm going to make a better wish. And I'm actually going to stick to it better than I did this year. Um, so anyways, sorry, I'm not reading your... Ooh. I'm not reading all your um, what you're writing. I'm gonna check it in a second. I've uh... okay. Thankfully, I can take there. Good game. All right. So, what have I missed in the chat? What have I missed? <laughs> Budapest. You guys are were happy that there was a Budapest being played. Oh, Lauzos, did I play you? Are you going to play the Women's World Rapid and Bliss Championship in Kazakhstan? No, I wish. I wish, but um, I want to spend Christmas with my grandma. Um, and uh, that starts, I think, the day after. And there's no way I can make it from there to Kazakhstan in a day. So I'm going to be um, in Romania spending time with my grandma. Celebrating Christmas there. Hopefully... God doesn't have other plans and, uh, you know, this new <sighs> wave of COVID is, is not going to affect my travel plans and such. So hopefully hoping that that's not going to be affected. I really wish I could play, but one day, one day I'm going to go. I, I've always wanted to, I never played actually in one of those. I've always wanted to, but somehow I didn't get the chance. You read a lot of books of chess. What is it? Oh, how is it? Interesting. Mm. I'll bring you more. It's, 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 there is this ice. Just this was. Oh, thank you. 
You read a lot of Buddhist lectures, but now it's Stockfish um, analyzing game with the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know. Still, it's different. Trust me. You have the chess board in front of you. Get a sparing partner and you analyze together. You have that interaction and you have your mind, your own mind is concentrated on that. Trust me, it's going to change your life if you actually learn to do it on the chessboard by yourself with someone or just by yourself other than using the engine. Trust me, it's going to help you improve so much. Because remember, when you're playing, you do not have the engine to help you. So you need to make sure you understand all those ideas by yourself. Um, oh, the method in chess. Yeah, yeah, that's a good book. Oh, um, when I play Blitz for so long, rapid games. Yeah, you do need more press practice, Hussein. Free night. Yes, yes. Um, no, I, we are not. We are not. No, we are not married. No. I will say El hi to Elshan, but no, we are not married. Uh, you're not good at English. At English language or English opening? I don't know the Vienna and the French. Well, heard about the Vienna and the French? Yeah, the openings, yeah. I thought there was a Vienna and the French. I was like, what's that line? Fundam fundamental intro. No. Okay, I guess those are good books. Some guy. You did well, Lausos. You did well. No, my grandmother knows to play a little bit. Yes, definitely. Ooh, you guys, there's a hype train. I didn't even see that. Thank you so much. Thanks for supporting Lee Chess channel. We do appreciate I mean, can I say we? Hopefully I can. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> uh, my grandmother knows a little bit. So she's the grandmother of my mom. And my mom was a woman's grandmaster. And she was um, the strongest female player in Romania for many years. And my grandma obviously knows about chess. She helped my mom write because those in older times, there were no computers. So you actually had right a, a notebook where you're writing all your lines and everything. So my grandma was helping mom create all those booklets and everything. And you had a binder and you're putting there and then you're finding a new opening. And yeah, anyways, um, so she was doing that, but she she doesn't like it. <laughs> she does not like it. You don't have a real life chess board. Oh, Carquino Four Cent Sub. Come on, get one. It's not. It's not too, too bad. You can find some very cheap ones. I'm sure. It's good. It's good. It's gonna be in your own best interest. Vienna is a pretty cool opening. I never used an angel until this year. <laughs> yeah, for for openings, uh, novelties is good, Delver. Definitely. All right, so thank you. Thank you, the handsome viking, for supporting leeches and subbing. All right. You spend 3000 on, on your gaming PC and you don't have money to get a chess board. It should be like five bucks, guys. Five bucks, really? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so this was a pretty good opening. <laughs> It was a pretty good opening, definitely, very, very much. Uh, but um, I feel like at some point, like, I attracted him. I put my queen there to attract c6, and then this pawn stayed weak, and I kind of focused my attention on it. And then you guys saw I played some b5. I created my uh, my pass pawn there. Almost failed to get, I almost got mated. Thankfully, I saw it right on time, and I went for g3. Uh, but yeah, that then turned out to be pretty pretty good. Uh, Lazarfish, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I hope I'll see you again soon. All right. Mm, and then I got lucky. So I guess that is, that is good. Moving on. Moving on. Dr. Nimekmike. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry. She might not like chess, but she had an I am daughter and <laughs> yeah, and actually my sister, yeah, yeah, she had she had to deal with a lot of chess players. Uh, my sister is W a W I M woman international master. Um, she has stopped playing chess for the time being. She's uh, finishing up her PhD in biology. I'm super proud of her for that. And then my dad is an international master too. So certainly, lots of chess for her. But she's cool. She's cool. She. 
uh, was a math teacher, and you might be surprised, but at 78, she can still teach math. 78 years old, so I'm praying to God that she continues to be in good health, and uh, I'm so proud of her that she can still do that at her age. I mean, um, you know, knock on wood that uh, that something happens, so I'm just very proud. Very proud to be her granddaughter. Um, but yeah, chess-wise, she's going to help me. She actually can. She's helped me on many occasions to review openings, like especially on the board, as I'm telling you. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm telling you the truth. That's what I was doing as a kid. Getting my chessboard, getting my notes that were all printed and everything. She would stay and read the notation. She knows to do that at her age. Well, before she knew that too, <laughs> obviously. And I would play it and she would check my knowledge in opening. So that was really, really good and very helpful on many occasions when I was a kid. And preparing for various um, uh, tournaments. Anyways, <laughs> I know, I know. She's got to deal with a lot of chess people. Not necessarily, not necessarily the best thing out there, but a pretty, pretty fun thing, I guess. Pretty fun thing. Have you ever played the Stein? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Because I'm not, I'm not really playing the 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 Marshall with the black, and I'm a D4 player mostly, so I wouldn't have played that for probably, most likely. I don't know why I'm yeah I'm removing that. It's fine. Mm. I mean, I should not care about the pawn too much, but just in case, let's make sure we protect it. It could be a good opening. It could be definitely a good opening, a good try. Mm. So if I take like this, he wants to... Okay, that's fine. That is fine. We are not too worried. I don't want to give up anything I'm not in a rush I will be taking an h6 next the first occasion as I said and that's mega protected I got 5 pieces protecting it so sorry 4 that's more than enough ooh Okay, I mean, that's a check. That's a checkmate. Good game. Good game. Have you ever considered playing the <laughs> Bone Cloud <laughs> in over the board? In over the board. Okay, let's try some E4. You guys have asked me to play E4. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hmm. I don't know why I did this. I have no theory knowledge in this opening. This is all I know. That's it. <laughs> this is where my opening knowledge is finishing. Mm. My opening knowledge is done. I play it with black. So I should try to remember what I play with black. Definitely not that. Wait, can I take now? No, because that's hanging. Let's just cast on and pretend like we don't care about the E4 pawn. Do we care about it? Apparently not. Oops, sorry. You've never seen me play E4? Oh, I played many, many times in my life E4. Many times. Just not recently. Not recent, too recent. Mm. Staying safe. Actually, I wanted to play a four, but I was worried of night. Night there. How safe am I? I don't know. 
In London, the Fianchetto is good for black. Uh, probably not, because you're going to get attacked on the king side. So it depends if you're going to play with d5, c5, or if you're going to play king's, uh, king's Indian style. If you play with d5, c5, you're probably going to be fine, I think. If you're playing king's Indian style, maybe not. So you have to check your lines and know exactly which one you're going to play and that it works. You need to make sure it works for you. That is an annoying move, but I really, 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 really want to do that. Should I do that, guys? Should I? Is he going to play a 4? I mean, if he plays, I take it. I don't care. Wait, why didn't I take an e6, man? Should have taken an e6. That would have been a much better choice for me. If you match with someone low elo here, play bonk. <laughs> You guys, this is this is a problem when you're streaming. This is the problem. The chat gets very much involved. They want to take control over your decision making, which I don't mind, but it depends. Actually, it's casual, so I guess I could do that. I'm doing pretty good, so I guess I should I should start playing e4, Delvera. Is that your suggestion? <laughs> um, don't say that I'm playing pretty good until I actually finish this because I feel like I'm going to blunder very soon and then I'm going to be like why did you say that I actually had a student once I told her oh my god you did so well in the homework and everything and then she's like you messed me up You, you how did she use the word she used a specific phrase that I hadn't uh, it's been a while since I heard it so I need to remember what it was but she was like yeah I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a decent phrase, uh, but anyway, she was like, "You you took you took that away from me. You took you took my luck away, or something like that." I was like, "You did your homework before I was even here. <laughs> you should not have messed up your homework. It's not my fault that you messed up your own homework by yourself, and now you're blaming me for you messing up your homework." How does that even work? I don't know. This was not really such a great idea. He's going to go king a8. And then I wanted to do that. So, I don't know. Is this good enough? I feel like... Ooh. Okay. I, I take nothing. Nothing going on there. That's going to be a gorgeous mate. Which chess site would you consider with strict on? Wait, would you consider with strict on fair means detection? Wait, what? I I don't get I I don't get. Can you? I didn't get your good game. Uh, cafe and tea. Cafe and tea. I guess is the German for coffee and tea. My bishop in a six was protected. And I had a lot of pressure there, so I got a really good attack. He didn't really get much attack on my king. I was pretty safe here. Uh, yes, uh, so I did mention that I kind of forgot here to take an a6. I know, I forgot. It was my fault. Uh, I, I played first queen b3. It doesn't change anything because, anyways, like if he takes here, I think I can take with the queen and then go. Oops, maybe a6. But maybe he should have taken because I cannot take with the knight, given that my bishop is not protected. So maybe that's something he should have done. Um, he never really got much after I take here. Oh, why not take the knight? I mean, yeah, that was an option he could have, but I wanted to go queen takes b7 check. He goes there, and then I'm not sure if I have a mate with bishop b5. I feel like that's going to be a mate. But in case I don't see a mate, I can always take the bishop, and I'm just, I just traded pieces, and it's fine. All right, next. Let's play second chance to beat me. Da Vinci eyes. Oh, this is rated. Sorry, my friend. No rated. Casual. Hurem Sultan. All right, Hurem Sultan. Let's go. Mm. Is there a particular opening you guys want to see? I'm going for the Caro. Mm, no Caro. I mean Caro, but this line. Okay. Here's a good line. Is a good line for white. Three plus O or below. <laughs> I'm making these rhymes now. I feel. I feel so. 
So good, I'm making front, uh, rhymes. 3 plus O or below. <laughs> that means like 2, two plus O or 1 plus O or 1 plus 1 you can, but... And casual. That's the request that I have for you. Because when I'm talking, I'm having fun, I'm reading the chat. I mean, I, I don't have time to focus on my rating not going down. Um, since I want to try to answer as many questions as you guys may have to. Um, also, I want to mention that, as I said uh, earlier in the beginning of the stream, that I'm going to try to take as many of you as possible. At some point in time, I will only say it like as it happens so that I make sure you guys don't leave. But at some point in time, I'm going to move from, uh, from Lee Chess to my own uh, Twitch stream. Nothing is going to change happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to your challenges. Everything will remain the same besides the website where I'm streaming. So I will be moving on mine, but not just yet. So stay here. Don't go anywhere. We're having still a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun too. Um, and uh, we are continuing the challenges. I'll be continuing them on my own stream too. Um, but I just wanted to let you know. So we'll just be moving over there. Um, but aside from that, every single thing stays the same and challenges will still be valid challenges. Nothing is going to waste. Everything will be... Ooh, man, I had this gorgeous idea and I didn't do it. And then I could have done this. Ouch. Beautiful pin over there. Beautiful, super beautiful. <laughs> Ottoman Empire vibes. I guess now I can actually go for that. Do you guys think I should do it? I feel like I should. I feel like I should. I'm going to trade rooks first and then I'm going to take there. Maybe I should have taken before, but like, unless I'm missing something, I feel like that just works great. Yeah. So he fell for it, unfortunately. Uh, Hurem Sultan or Harem Sultan. I'm not sure how you is pronounced in, in um, pronunciation in Turkish language. I know for sure that um, C, the letter, when you see the letter C in Turkish, is pronounced J. Um, it's, it's pronounced J, but that's kind of the only thing that I know. I don't know so much. Uh, good game. Good game, definitely. So he fell for that beautiful trap for me, but I felt like I had a pretty decent position because that's weak. I have pre pressure and everything, so yeah. All right. Hi there, Abod622. Welcome, casual. King, Queen, Crusaders. I feel like I played him. I feel like I played him. And I lost. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta stay focused. I gotta stay focused with this guy. Get my revenge or not. What's wrong, Jim? Or lose again. <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Most of my games are good at end games. Mm, I don't know. I guess you guys can be a judge of that. You guys can be ju a judge of that. Are they good at end games? I feel like they are, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm just super mega protecting here everything. And now I'm just going to go for this. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, not allowed to sing. Where I am. I don't know. That was a good move. I want to play here. But it's not really ideal. Hmm. <laughs> mm. I'm going to go back. There's nothing shameful in retreating, just so you guys know. I messed up. <sighs> Takes like that. Wow. That was an unexpected choice. I was expecting queen takes or rook takes. Rook takes didn't work as bishop a3, but queen takes? He does have more time than me, so I gotta play faster here. And I apologize, I will not be reading your comments 
for uh, for some time because I'm gonna try to um, this guy's mean this guy mean this guy very mean I'm focusing Elsha I'm focusing just let me let me focus here this guy trying to mate me I know I'm talking like that. <laughs> Who talks like that? I feel like I heard someone talking like that at some point. I thought it was funny. But I don't have time. Oh, oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Mm, this position is bad for me. It is pretty bad. trying to hold on. It's not a very ideal position, I know. I know. Should I play a4? When do I play a4? Why? Oh, I got panicked. I panicked. Oh, I panicked. I didn't get my revenge. I panicked. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, man. What else did I miss? What else? I tried. I tried. Abod, yes, I'm doing well. I answered that already. Can you advise how to play? You're playing GM Esam El Gindi next Friday. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Esam El Gindi. I don't know who that is. Offer drawn second move. Read the book Sherlock's Method. Definitely read it. That's our book. How to beat your dad at the game of chess. That's a cool one. Um, persistence wins. 
Um, I, I got I got nervous, but I, I I was defending pretty well. Like he had to find some ways to improve, but yeah. Uh, this is your first time to face a GM in classical chess. Just check out his games and try to see where, what opening he doesn't seem to to have that good result in, and then play that. F three easy flag. I mean, I didn't. Who? Oh, actually, yeah, I could have tried F three definitely. No, but I sure played F three earlier. Why didn't I play F three earlier? I mean. Should have played f3 here, like before he played that. I should have just played f3 and that was, that was it. I don't know why I didn't do that. I was just, I was panicking because my time was running out. So yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Twiddle gems. Okay, we're playing twiddle gems. He's always tricking me to get him white pieces somehow. Are you going to play two little gems or? Okay, so let's play something. Something crazy. We're going to play something crazy. Mm, I'm going to do that. Good luck. Okay. We're gonna give him. We're gonna give him some chances, and see how he plays. Oh wow! He did not take his chances. He took some other chances. Okay, we'll give him. We'll do that. <laughs> cat master. Yes, yeah, she's definitely a cat master. Wow, he did not take his chances. I'm definitely surprised by that. He did not want to take any free pawn, so, okay. No free pawn, no free pawn. You can't force someone to take a free pawn if they don't want to, right? Cannot do that. Wait, what? No, no, how did that? I didn't do that. How did that pre move get made? Oh my god, I. Uh, I was reading the chat. I didn't pay attention. It's fine. It's fine. Pre move. I pre moved the blunder. That's okay. We, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. We're not worried. I would say she must be. She must be at least a candidate master for sure, yeah. She must be. I don't know how it, it pre-moved King, uh, King G8 because I guess I had the move there because I, I, I clearly just play King H7. So... I was looking in the back, I guess it I've done that. Hmm. Mistake. I cannot tell you no, unfortunately, because um I'm taking people randomly, so it means I have no idea who the next person is myself. So, since I don't know, I cannot tell you, because I don't know myself. Everything is played at random, guys, so I know you want to know a lot of things, but I really cannot. Uh, it's random. It is really random. Okay, 
so now we're gonna we're gonna grab some pawns around here and more pawns around here okay well try to do this So we have studied some rook end games with twiddle gems. Let's see what what has he studied? Has he studied enough or not? It's what we want to see. Oh, that does not keep the rook end games, unfortunately for you. That does not keep the rook end games. You had to move the rook there to keep your bishop protected. Good game though, good game. Defended pretty well, did not want to take my free pawns that I was giving you, which is really surprising. Everyone, you feel like everyone would love to take free material, no? But um, Twiddle Gems this did not want to take the free material. Yep, yeah, there are a couple of options here. I played this line where you can actually take the pawn and then you take with the knight and then you take with the bishop so you are keeping really nice and safe and connected pawns but he didn't want to do it and then this was pretty nice too because uh, he had some chances I feel like uh, maybe even capture here and then when I take back we need four check and try to take there I would take e5 but he had his chances but he played pretty well at some point some point it did not work out it happens yep yeah, I did. Uh, I did do a mouse slip by mistake. I pre-moved somehow. I pre-moved King G8. I don't know why. This is rated, so I'm sorry, chess noob. Not gonna happen today. Casual Schrodinger's queen. Schrodinger's queen. Let's move on with some queen's gambit. More queen's gambit. Slav. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take the snob, anyone new here who just joined, welcome, you're welcome to send me challenges, it's command challenge to challenge me particularly, since I'm playing right now, <laughs> um, I will be, ooh, right now thought this was not an option right now but i guess it is right now okay mm -hmm. let's do that and um very soon i will be moving the stream on my own twitch channel but we will continue with the same challenge random challenge accepted uh and yeah it's a good homemade uh homemade engine very good engine clearly has a higher level than that but okay i don't know in engine rating what what should be the actual rating i'm not good at those kind of things but feel like your engine is playing pretty well I will get it once. I will get to beat it once. I will work hard to beat it one day. But I guess, who knows? Might be in 10 years. <coughs> <coughs> or never. <laughs> More likely never than in 10 years. But I will try. Oh, you made a suckfish 13. You made it? Lucky Cola? Oh, why is it closed? Why is it closed? What happened? Uh, 
I can play it anytime. Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll keep that in mind. Let's make some trades. That is an, an annoying move. Certainly is. So, thinking takes, 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 takes. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Takes. <laughs> Am I still getting lucky? Maybe you are lucky. Did you think about that part? Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Maybe you are lucky, Chesswell. <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke, in case you didn't get it. You forgot that it is Blitz, so whatever the engine is telling you, not helping. Not helping Twiddle Jams. It's Blitz. Is it gonna take an A2? I guess so. I guess so, but I'm going for that. I'm going for that one. Nothing wrong with that, right? GG. Definitely GG. Well, actually, my my thing might have been bad, actually, because he has... Does he have X F6? I'm doing a little bit better with time. Good game. Good game, Schrodinger's queen. I feel like it is time to maybe move. I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure if this is time to move. I don't know if no joke is here. Is no joke here? <laughs> um... I'm always honest, yes, always honest, always honest. I don't know what Heroku is. Ah, Marfinsky, hey there. Um, let's do it, okay. All right, you, do you wanna do it? Do you do it yourself or should I do it? Should I go on restream and click that or will you do it? No joke, Chess. Okay, I guess you're doing it. I'll wait. It's good that you're here. I hope you guys enjoyed me um, here on Leech's stream. We're moving over to my stream, but if you haven't done so yet, please follow leechess.org. You won't be sorry, definitely. Lots of fun challenges uh, that you can you can get the chance to play. So let's move over to my stream for now, but uh, follow Leechess before we move. Be sure to do that. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Leeches, for hosting me and looking forward to being back here very, very soon. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm rating myself. <laughs> I, I like myself so much that I decided to just go to... <laughs> still me, still me. We're going back to me. Incredible. I can't even share... I can't even share my the people who are viewing this with other people. I'm just like... 
I'm just <laughs> exactly chestful. Exactly. You guys are too much. You guys are too much. I feel like I'm. We're moving. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do something. I feel like I shouldn't. It's gonna happen in a second. Let's hope it works. And let's see. Uh, and we're continuing the same thing, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 